Okay, so yesterday I had a pretty successful day and I fitted a dual battery system to our 2018 Prado. And even though I had some concerns with people coming in saying, you're not meant to fit an AGM under the bonnet, turns out that this AGM is specifically designed for going under the bonnet. It's a dual purpose starting slash deep cycle. So that's all good. And today, I'm going to do something that I'm very reluctant to do. I like to save myself some money, but I'm going to do this. Today's job is going to be fitting up the Safari Snorkel. Now, I have watched a lot of YouTube clips. I have read a lot of forums and I think I'm prepared. So I've got a few things set out. Obviously that's the snorkel and it, there's not a lot to the kit itself. So there's a lot there for, you know, nearly 500 bucks. But I've got a, gone and got a few tools. I figured I can save myself some money and it works out. If I don't take time into account, then I will be. I ended up purchasing a little uh, metal, like a little saw, what do they call it? Anyway, an air saw, that's what it's called. After watching a YouTube clip, where the fella recommended that, I've got my silicon gasket for sealing things up. I've got my step saw, step drill, sorry, for drilling the holes. I've got my thread locker for locking bits and pieces in. And importantly, I've got touch up paint. And I'll also finish in behind the guards. Once I get into there, I'll finish in behind the guards with a bit of fish oil as well. So that'll beaten it up if I miss anything or there's anything exposed. So this is what it looks like now. I am a mechanic by trade and I've done lots of stuff over the years, yet I'm really reluctant to bore massive holes into the guard of my $75,000 vehicle. So I've got the template here. Now what I've seen some people do, or one fella do, is put the template up the right way for a start, like so. And with the template on, instead of drilling a couple of massive holes, the fella did use an air saw to take the hole, just make it one big hole. So I've seen some where they talk about uh, using an, an 89 mil hole saw and then just doing the hole saw, two hole saw things and then um, sort of opening the oval up after that. Now it doesn't look like this Safari one is similar to that, but I haven't read the instructions yet either. But I figured an air saw might be a little bit easier. And also at the end of it, I get to keep the air saw, whereas an 89mm hole saw is really limited in use. I'm not going to have a lot of uses after this for an 89mm hole saw. So I will sit down and read the instructions and I'll take some photos and do some more updates as I go. It's going to be a little bit of a slowly, slowly. I have seen some people say that um, one fella said that his first one took him eight hours and the second one took him four hours and the third one took him about 90 minutes so I'm sort of aiming for around the three hours I think um, three to four I reckon will be doable uh, it doesn't look too complicated the only thing I'm really not looking forward to is getting the plastic shrouding off underneath the guard I took it off yesterday or part of it off yesterday to do the battery and it's a real pig to get the clips out so That'll probably be the longest and most frustrating part of it. And then I'll get into it. So I'll read the instructions and then I'll do some more updates as I go and we'll see how it looks. So I was right. The uh, inner guard was a real pig. Whoever thought up of those stupid little plastic clips, oh, I've hidden them now, needs a jolly good slap on the head. So as a result, there's still two in there that I, to get out I would have had to sacrifice and I don't really know where I'm going to get some more so I've just left it hanging I think that'll give me enough room under the guard to to work as it is so the first steps tell me to remove the air box which I've done and remove the adapter underneath the guard so these two things this was on the bottom of the air box just a little spacer and this was under the guard it says to remove both of those Remove the lower housing, which I've done. So, I'm on to, it says remove and discard, so I'm up to these bits. 
remove and discard the air intake adapter, which I've done, the air duct, which I've done, and now I'm up to the removing and discarding the perforated sections out of the template. And I'm going to put the template on the guard. So this is approaching the point of no return, and we'll see what happens. So if that if that guard had come out nicely, it would have only been oh, it would have been five minutes. But those clips, the ones at the back, were the problem. So the ones right down in here are also used to secure the mud guard in. So the little releases on them just weren't working. They are all full of mud and dirt. So I've actually sacrificed one of them because I know I've got another. And we'll go from there. Anyway, that's the stage we're up to now. Putting the template on and making some big holes. So that's the template on. I have marked all the holes. You probably can't see, but you probably can. So in under there, I went. I took the effort to go around all the holes underneath and put masking tape which you'll see underneath the holes so everything's marked and aligned this is the, uh, the big hole really looking forward to cutting that one and that's it so that's the template on template done and now oh, now we hit the point of no return this is the drilling and cutting so I'll put this down and make some horrible noises so that's what I was talking about with the tape underneath the templates made it nice and easy drilled it out with a just a pilot drill so I just said to drill it out pilot drill I put a bit of oh, focus put a bit of tape on the drill bit just so it didn't plow through and plunge the chuck into the panel so the instruction was to drill a pilot hole and now we use the step drill to drill it out to 16 millimeters this is the ugly bit all right I'll be back. All right, thanks, Cocky. So I've got six fairly large holes, 16 mil. I've been stepped out to. I use the brand new little hole saw, my Hitachi 18 volt. Did it just nicely, just took it nice and steady and stepped it out. So the next step is to use this puppy for the first time and cut out that one. So it says to drill two or three 10 mil holes. I'm just gonna start with one and see how I go. And work my way around. Then the ugliness is over really, provided it lines up, it's all good. So I'll keep going. I've literally only been going so far, oh, about three quarters of an hour. So maybe an hour, it's all good. I'll keep going. Okay, so that massive hole is done. All the holes are done. My little scorpion, Saw performed well. I buggered up with it and it stopped working for a little bit, which took me a bit of time to figure out. But once I figured it out, it was away. So now I've got to clean those holes up, get rid of all the little daggy bits, and paint them. And then probably go and have some lunch while the paint dries and come back. So that's the worst part of it done. It does look really ugly, but it's the way it is. So I'll keep going. So I'm just about to go and have lunch, which will give time for these little studs to dry. I put six of them in and we'll thread lock them in as well. So I've sat them in to dry and I've also, oh, I can't see a thing, but I've deburred and painted all the holes. So I'll move the car out into the sun. I'll give it half or so and I'll come back and I'll fit it up. And hopefully it'll be all good when I'm on the downhill run. So all up, about two, two, two and a bit hours I suppose at the moment so far. Anyway, that's it. So I've waited for my paint to dry. It took about, I've given it about half an hour. And I fitted the snorkel up so that I could do these little three holes at the top. I had to drill them out to eight mil. It said to use a step drill. But a step drill was actually touching on the inside of the pillar and I was just a bit concerned that um, because there is an airbag in there somewhere as well so didn't want to 
fuse would go nuts and bore into the back of an airbag. So I went and just got a standard 8mm drill. Started with the, the step drill and then got a standard 8mm drill just to finish the holes off. Now, as you can see, I've sort of straightened them up and I've filled in behind them with paint to seal them off. But there are holes in the centre. So I think, I haven't read the instructions yet, but I think I'm going to put just a little bit of silicon in those holes when I put the screws in. Just that I don't get any water ingress coming in, in through those holes and down into the A pillar. So I'm now at the point where I can fit the snorkel to the body. It's a bit hard to see, but I've now mounted the, the bracket on. And the next step will be to put the snorkel on. So I've got ahead of myself a little bit. I'm not putting the snorkel on yet. The instructions tell me that I've got to remove this little locator here, take it back about 25 mil, which I think will take it back flush with that. So I'm just going to use the little air saw that I got, cut it back, give it a little bit of a file, and then do the next step. So that's neatly tidied that up. I don't really need to do too much to that. That was just with a little saw, and that'll be fine as it is, I think. So I'll go on to my next step. So my next step was that Safari advised to block the air, the water, water drain holes in the bottom, reckoning that they can get ingress. I've got to give that a bit of a wipe and clean up, but there's three drainage holes in the bottom of the air box. So I've just gooped a bit of blue sealant in there, and that'll be all right. So the next step was to fit the tube through the inner guard. Um, it wasn't a real easy fit. In fact, it was a real pig. So I don't know if you can see that. Uh, probably not. But it was a bit of a pig to get it to go through. It was very grippy. So I ended up, ended up spraying just a little bit of silicon lube on the outer edge of it so that it would, would pass through that big channel up in there which you can't see but that's all good that's done now so now the next step I've got to do is reinstall the airbox so I'll do that now so my next step was to fit the tube up under the guard the connection tube and then loose fit the snorkel by securing it underneath which I've done all the little screws at the top lined up so that's nice as well but now just got to tighten everything up and fit the little piece on the top and fit tighten up the clamps underneath once I'm sure that everything's on properly and I think I'm pretty much at the end of it so it's taken me oh, all up I've been going for about two and a half hours to this point, so I'm not too unhappy with it. I'll keep going. Well, that's it, it's about three and a half, I guess about three and a half hours it's taking, roughly, probably a bit less actually. So it's in, it's on, it's all tightened up. Now I've just got to put the airbox back together, which is no big deal, but I want to do some stuff to the, I've got to put a heat sensor on the dual battery yet, so I'm going to do that while the lid's off. And it's finished. And put the splash guards back on underneath. Devil things they are. And I'm done. So about yeah, three, three and a half hours is taken and a bit hard to see because of the sun. But not too bad. It wasn't too bad a job at all. It was just a little bit concerning when you're drilling massive holes. And I am going to you now just go and get a bit of fish oil uh, before I put the splash guard underneath and just spray underneath the guard there just to mop up anything I might have missed but I don't think I did and that's it there you go well three and a half hours later it's finished the guard is all put back together snorkels all together and tight I fish all the stuffing out of underneath it while I could now everything smells like fish that's okay I might catch fish and put together under the bonnet yeah so it's all good. So step by step, it was pretty easy to do, apart from the big scary bits of cutting holes, which weren't too bad after all. So anyway, that's me.